do you know that uh, kangaroos have like a that? Did I ever tell you about their defense mechanism? They punch. No. What they pee? If you are, they throw their joey out of their their joey uh, out of the uh, <laughs> their cubby, and they start swinging it around and no. throw it at you like a boomerang. No. No. Oh, it's uh, f- far more sinister. Oh, oh <laughs> really? Yeah. Than throwing their child? Far more sinister. Oh, my lord. What are you going to do to me, Daddy? All right, back to form. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> How are you, pal? Pile is good. <laughs> Pile is very good. <laughs> I was going to say big pa- fella. Pal, Kyle, and big fella yeah, all like in one. Uh, yeah, so just like pile. <laughs> <laughs> I love doing that because then I'm like, what word was I trying to say? The K is silent. Just go pile. Yeah. Pile. Wow. Uh, dude, I'm good. good. I'm good. It's a uh, it's a little muggy outside, but it is. You know yeah. what? It's it's not bad. I got the fan going and I got the windows open. I got a little yeah. breeze happening with the yeah. AC. You know, I figure it's, I might as well kind of too bad. Kind of make it feel make it feel nice and nice and what is the word? What's the word? Homey, comfortable, nice and yeah, nice and cozy in here. Cozy, nice and cozy. I always thought cozy when I was a kid meant cold. Ooh. And it means the complete opposite. No, it no. means like comfy and warm. Warm? Yeah, I can see comfy, but not warm. Yeah, I thought I thought cozy meant cold. Because warm is not comfy to me. Yeah, yeah. I think well, I think yeah. warm is comfy. <laughs> it's more of a vibe than uh. You know what? Yeah, you're a vibe. You're a vibe. You're a vibe. Get out of here. G- get in. Y- here. Y- yeah. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> come, come back in. Come back in. <laughs> Let's do this right now. So, um, welcome, welcome to another episode of the Itchy Sweater podcast we're your humble servant sex pop <laughs> and and uh and melt and melt <laughs> melt sorry melts i'm still on melts, melts. <laughs> yeah, it's just melt but uh that we are your humble servant sex pop and melt because i went to a show last night Derek did something oh yeah i Woo-hoo! went to <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Derek doing something. <laughs> Yay, we're not staring at the wall. We're at the window. <laughs> I love it. So I'm on my fourth weekend of drinking. <laughs> <laughs> I th- is this considered you an alcoholic now? <laughs> no. <laughs> every, not, every weekend I'm not I a, drink. I'm not abusing it. If <laughs> I was abusing it through the week, it'd be different. Oh, well, true. But uh, yeah, I've been going... <laughs> I've been going out, having some fun, doing a little drinking. You're on and, a streak uh, right now. I'm, I'm proud of you. <laughs> streak, <yeah>. I'm proud. <laughs> it's good to be, I don't know, on a streak. <laughs> well, here's the thing. I, I, I'm proud because I didn't do anything this weekend except Coach Mason's football game. And yeah. Well, I stayed home and took a nap. Yeah, you're doing family duties. <laughs> you know, I, I, I'm, I'm over here looking at the wall. I got nothing to do. I got no family duties, nothing. So I, I got to at least go Trust out. Me, and you don't, you don't want family duties. Okay, I don't like cleaning up duties. Yeah, they're not fun. <laughs> I like to stop at the duty free shop. Sorry. <laughs> so I went to this show at this venue called Mohawk. Mohawk. Yeah, I've never been to this venue. It is near. It's uh, it's near Sixth. Okay, but it's. Oh, so it's down downtown. There. Okay, yeah, like it, it it's it's smack which, in the middle of the city. Which side of the freeway? If you're going south, if you're going south, it is on the. Uh, it's it's by Congress, like past Congress. So oh, so it's closer to the Capitol west, building. West actually. side, yeah, west side of y- yeah. The freeway. It's pretty okay. it's pretty close to the Capitol. Like you can see the Capitol building. I was gonna say if, if step it was outside. if it was an east side venue, that typically east side kind of seems to me like the more urban area for people it's not the popping area but there's always something weird going on over yeah there. yeah it, it, was, it was it was a pretty cool spot nice. um we go in and uh this venue is really it's really uh it's like a, it's like a one of those kind of more hole in the wall kind of type of venues like small like kind of low ceilings intimate space kind of almost cramped in a way and we go in. It's got a real cool vibe. It's got the lights on. It looks like just like an old school Austin venue. It looks really cool. Okay. And uh, they don't even have like a big screen. They just had like the screen pull down. <coughs> and then you have the projection. They used a projector? They used a projector. Yeah, for like from the ceiling. So this is a pretty like old school venue. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And the sound system was good. Just like the two speakers over here. Then the woofers. And... um. I am like, is it like wall I'm in to the wall back people? 
pretty much. Oh, really? I'm in the back, and I'm still <laughs> only 20 feet from the stage, if that. If that. Dang, so it is pretty small. Yeah, so it's pretty small. Wow. Um, If you took my living room okay. and you knocked out that wall, mm-hmm. that's the venue. Holy shit, that's yeah. small. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so pretty, pretty intimate small spot yeah and i went to see this band called melt and another band called sex pop two t's two t's yeah no s you know s or is he (laughs) and sex pop covered or sex pop didn't cover they uh opened Mm -hmm. for melt who were the headliners and they were like this really funky like indie rock kind of you you kind played faction. you played the sex pop one for me. Yeah, I think I like that more than the one that I found of Mel. Yeah, it well, Mel had very, some bangers. Well, for but the one sex that pop I played, had some even better bangers. But like the, compared from what I played to what you played, yeah, I loved the what did I call it? It was like a, a funky uh, or a funk house music. Yeah, very just good vibes yep. and. You know, very happy. Mm-hmm. I like that. It was really, it was really cool. I think I'm probably going to listen to more sex pop stuff, honestly, than I mm. will listen to Melt. Really? Yeah, Melt was very nice. It was like atmospheric, okay, and like transcendent, like this, like trying to like it, it was it was outer space, like making you feel like you want to have an outer body experience. But wow, um, it was good. Imagine it was good. if you were on acid. Oh, geez, oh. dude. Wee. Yeah, I, I, I won't name any names to protect the people involved, but there were some people that I know who were thinking about microdosing Joseph. before the show. <laughs> Chief Larry. Joseph. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll name him Anthony Jonesy <laughs> Jaquan. Wait, you know what? I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll name him. Uh, I'll name him. Uh, what is the word? Uh, Gordy. Gordy. Yeah, Gordy. Since I, I, I oh, watched, Lord. I watched Stand by Me for like the sixth time this weekend. Oh, Gordy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good movie. Yeah, it, it's a it's, it's a, a phenomenal movie. movie. Uh, so I'll, I'll name the I'll name the parties involved. Gordy, uh, Lachancy, Lachan. What was his, what was his name? Lachance. Le- G- Gordy Lachance. I'm pretty sure his name oh, was Lachance. Man. Or something you know like what? That. I don't know because I haven't seen that movie in probably like yeah. five years at least. Yep. Will Wheaton. Maybe ten. Yep. That was Will Wheaton? Yeah. Holy cow. Little Will Wheaton and Corey Feldman. Wow. Yeah, Corey too. Feldman I knew about. And then there was another guy who like really slimmed down. I can't remember his name. But I don't know. But yeah, yeah, that was that was a little a little young Will Wheaton. And That's then you crazy. had John Cusack as his brother in that movie too. When he had a a, a younger wow. face. Wow. Remember that? Damn. Little little Cusack before he was a I think pretty much before he was an adult. Yeah. Yeah. So Damn. a lot of a lot of like really young people to, that grew up and grew had up. a decent career yeah yeah so but really really cool I, I'm, I'm gonna play more sex pop stuff i think i think okay. i'm gonna listen to them a little bit more because it just kind of look a little bit more like a beat mm-hmm. and stuff like that so i'll have it like on a morning playlist or something like that and then melts will be like when i'm just i just want to feel things <laughs> Melt. I'm gonna put melt on when I just like sit in my chair, look when at you, the wall. When you want to melt, when I want to melt, when I right just want to, yep. And I'm just looking at the wall, <laughs> and that's that's gonna be that's gonna be the zone out music. Hell yeah. So, but uh, it was it was a good time. I drank some more, of course, and I had a had a pretty good time. But yeah, I, I'm pretty much just been. <laughs> the funny thing is, is I usually drink more at home. I've been drinking more outside of my home lately. Okay. So, yeah. Hasn't gotten crazy or anything. I think I think at this point, well my body doesn't really let me get blackout drunk. Um my body just lets me it just passes out before that happens. <laughs> so, I'll just fall I think, asleep. I think I do too. Yeah. I think that's the way it's always been for me. I don't yeah. think I've ever blacked out. No, I've never been on idle autopilot, I don't no. think. So. No, no, never. Yeah. So, I'm pretty good as far as that goes. Well, that's a pretty damn good highlight of your weekend, though. Thank you. That's, that's awesome. Thank you want to hear my much. highlight of my weekend? I would weekend? love to. This morning, yeah. before I got here, mm-hmm. we made Mason and his cousin put on the uh, friendship shirt. <laughs> you know what that is? <laughs> yeah, I know the friendship shirt. When you put two kids in one shirt and make them get along, <laughs> the first 20 minutes. That's funny. It was because we we stayed home to try and watch the church on TV. Mm-hmm. I'm on my phone trying to listen, you know, do some other things. And they're arguing, just arguing. So we're like, hey, 
get in the shirt. Like, get what are you talking the shirt. about? <laughs> so they grabbed one of uh, Grandpa's shirts, mm-hmm. uh, put it on, and they were like, hey, this is fun. <laughs> about 20 minutes to half an hour goes by, and they're crying. Of course. Or one of them's crying, the cousin. He's crying in the room because they're laying down on the bed trying to get this five minutes over with, or 10 minutes, whatever it was. And they were uncomfortable. I've never... I know that the cousin and another cousin did it before, but I don't remember it. Mm-hmm. Now seeing it in person, I'm like, yeah, this sucks. That's something so else. I'm giving them, I've been giving them crap all morning. Hey, you want to talk about bad parenting or <laughs> bad family values or whatever? I'm like, this is fun, isn't it? This is amazing. You guys love this, don't you? I'm rubbing it in. And they're both crying over there like, it's not funny. I'm like, oh, no, it's hilarious. <laughs> So, apparently, I just asked my wife right now, Mm -hmm. about 10 minutes, I said, how long did it take? Because they kept crying. Every time they cried or they argued, started the timer over. Oh, wow. Within the five minutes before I left, Mm -hmm. it probably restarted five times. Oh, no. Yeah. So, uh, she said about 10 minutes after I left is when they finally clicked and Uh, figured it out. Snapped out of it. But it's funny because Riley is over there. She's doing her own thing. Mm -hmm. She's jumping on the little mat. Like when all the kids are over on the weekend or something, they'll put this little mat out and put it in the the grandparents' room. Mm -hmm. And they'll all sleep on the mat. She's over there rolling around, giggling, laughing, doing her own thing around here. And then here comes these two around the corner just struggling to walk around with each (laughs) other. And it's the funniest freaking thing ever that is a very like outside looking in that's a hilarious view I, dude, like I just being it. a fly on the wall and like <laughs> well and they're what they were doing is that they didn't you know how you're supposed to be like side to side yeah one of them was in front of the other so we're like this is fun haha and then the other one got turned like one of them got turned around and so they were trying to go opposite ways and they're like the the collar was on their neck so they're like <laughs> i'm like well stop figure it out <laughs> So we were like, put your arm over his shoulder and then put your arm over his shoulder. So they were doing this Mm -hmm. and then had one arm out of the sleeve. Yeah. So then they were like, it's so like this. Got this weird Siamese twin situation. Dude, I love it. (laughs) You brought up church. Yeah. And I want to play something for you. Up church. No. Uh, uh, Little White Church. Nope. Uh, Gospel. No, this is (laughs) Um, a youth pastor. Okay. And uh, he was doing some prayers birds he was doing some he was trying to lead a prayer okay with a bunch of kids in prayer and i'll just play what it what he what he says daddy please fill me that you i want you to pray let's pray it out loud let's not be scared let's pray it out loud daddy please fill me yeah oh, lord i want you God, we don't want you <laughs> what Dad, first of all, the, okay, hold on a second. Let me recollect your what? Daddy, please fill me. Okay, feel or fill? Fill. Fill. Yeah. Oh, that's worse. Yeah. Let's you open your friends. Pray it out loud. Let's not be scared. Let's pray it out loud. Daddy, please fill me. All right. Hold on a second. Well, this okay. This dude needs to be fired for one. It's First of all, choice of words. <laughs> have you ever? Because okay, I, I don't know your extent with church and all that. Did uh, you yeah, ever go to church growing up? Or I was raised in church. Yeah. Okay, when you did, did you ever refer to the father or God or whatever as daddy? No, or or dad. <laughs> no. It's never been either of those. No. So the guy needs to be fired for that. First. Exactly. Second of all, <laughs> daddy, please fill me. Fill me or feel me. Phil. Either way, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> And then, then at the end, he goes, I want you. I want you. <laughs> All right. This guy's got some demons. He needs to be fired. Where was this at? I don't know. Somebody uploaded this video. Oh, my Lord. How'd you find this? <laughs> uh, there was this uh, clip I was looking on TikTok because I was scrolling TikTok, of uh-huh. course. It always starts with TikTok. You someone found, that? Yeah, I know. It always Weird. does. Yeah, that's pretty much like the culture now. Yes. Um, but this video was uploaded six years ago. Oh, wow. And I, w- and I was looking at the comments, and someone said, thank you for re-uploading. So this was even probably even older than six years. But this is a video from six years ago. At least uploaded six at years ago. At least six years ago. Yeah. <laughs> Daddy, please fill me. 
I and want you, you. And, and and then you hear like the the, 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 the the very reluctant kids in the crowd. Danny, please. Well, <laughs> and, the, and that's the thing is he's doing it like as like at a. It seems like he's it's in a the youth. youth. Yeah, it's a youth. He's a youth pastor. Yeah, so it's a bunch of kids in the crowd. <laughs> Don't be scared to say it. Danny, please film me. <laughs> That you. man has some demons he needs to let loose and uh, somewhere away from kids. <laughs> like a better choice of words, please. You could say father. Father, father even, please. Even if he said father, please fill me. That's better. That's way better. But it's the daddy. It's the daddy of it all. I think that it's, word is so cursed nowadays. Yeah. Have you, I can't remember what movie this is, but there's this movie where this uh, it's like a cult classic at this point. It's uh-huh. a really bad movie. Okay. But this this kid is having like a tantrum at the table. Dad picks up the kid. He throws the kid over his shoulder. He's walking down the hallway to his room. And each of the rooms have like a sign uh, that says the kid's name on it. Okay. Dad's walking down the hallway. He goes, you see this? Si- you see these signs? Do you know what it means? Hospitality. And you can't piss on hospitality. I won't allow it. Because the kid actually like pissed on the food. Oh, <laughs> Literally, <laughs> yeah. He goes, "You can't piss on hospitality. I won't allow it." Kid, go. This comment has not. This scene has not aged well whatsoever. Kid's laying on the bed. Dad starts taking off his belt. He goes, "No, what are you going to do to me, Daddy?" <laughs> <laughs> what? And he goes, "I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna tighten up my belt one notch so I don't feel hunger pains." <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna what? find the scene. I'm, uh, th- I'm looking. <laughs> so this uh oh god it's the d- d- ads 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 we didn't pay for this yeah. uh but this Wells Fargo baby this scene is absolutely phenomenal it is troll 2 i forgot it was troll 2 troll but two. it's a very troll 2 very as old in movie. like here we go oh. you know what it means hospitality and you can't piss on hospitality i won't allow it what are you going to do to me, Daddy? Tighten my belt by one loop so I don't feel hunger pains. And your sister and mother will have to do likewise. Okay, Joshua, you want to get rough with me? You want to show me that you don't like the choice of this house for our vacation by going on a hunger strike? Well, I'll accept the challenge. But just remember, when I was your age, I really did suffer from hunger. We'll see who gets through this. But just remember, I've got more practice than you. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> what in the actual hell, for one... Tighten up my belt while loose so I don't feel hunger pains. <laughs> what? And he just randomly talks about how he struggled with hunger as a kid. What? <laughs> what are you going to do to me, Daddy? <laughs> I hate that word. I hate that word. I can't. Yeah, I've definitely, I've definitely traumatized you with that word today so well, far. <laughs> and the thing is, is like, I don't even allow my kids to call me Daddy. Yeah. Like, they call you Pop. They call, call me dad. Or, well, Faja. Faja. There's a, there's a guy that. <laughs> Baba. Uh, I watch these TikToks about the big automotive family. Yeah. And the guy talks fine, but every time his dad comes out, and he goes, oh, hi, Faja. Yeah. That reminds me of um, Austin Powers. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yo, Faja. But, uh, yeah, I don't. Uh, sometimes when they say that to me, because I do, I guess I do allow it, but. Yeah. It just, every it make, it cringes me. I'm like, eh. Yeah. 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 Then when somebody else says it, I'm like, stop! <laughs> what are you going to do to me, Daddy? <laughs> Speaking of belts. Oh. <laughs> Glad he didn't drop his belt compared to this guy. <laughs> so, uh, the WWE has a Roman Reigns issue. And the issue with Roman Reigns is they have to make him drop the belt, but they have to wait until WrestleMania. You know what now, I just realized? Sorry. What's that? Looking at your legs right now. It looks like one of them is cut off and you have a nub. <laughs> your, your knee looks yeah, like right you here. have a nub. Because yeah. I can't see it going that way. It looks like you literally have a nub. Yeah. And that's a clean cut. Like, there's no it's, scar oh, or yeah. anything. Absolutely. I was born wow. this way. I was born this way. Baby, be copyright. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, no, no, just kidding. We didn't We're not it. getting paid. Right. Screw you. <laughs> but, um,. So Roman Reigns has to drop the belt at WrestleMania. Now, I don't think he has to drop the belt at Why? WrestleMania, but the WWE thinks he has to drop the belt at WrestleMania. This is something that just came out. This is what I'm thinking has happened. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm um, you're speculating, speculating. Okay, okay. Yeah, this, this is all speculation. So 
Roman Reigns will drop the belt. He better at WrestleMania. But they have to wait until WrestleMania, which is way too far. Mm-hmm. Now, if they are waiting for WrestleMania, that's a really bad deal for L.A. Knight. Now, the reason that's a bad deal for L.A. Knight is because L.A. Knight has injected himself into a feud with Roman Reigns. Yeah, he has a match with him next weekend. At Saudi Roman Arabia. A, yeah. He's losing that match. No. He's losing that match. He's, And that's the problem. He shouldn't lose that match. I think... L.A. Knight would actually be a really good champion. Okay. But he's losing that match because, again, he's going to lose it at WrestleMania to Cody Rhodes. Or we have L.A. Knight 2, Cody Rhodes 2, and they make it a triple threat match. Yeah, but who wins it? Cody. Mm, I don't like it. I don't like it either. Okay, let's talk about realistic storylines here, shall we? Yeah. In a fake storyline uh, company. <laughs> <sighs> storylines that make sense. Yeah. LA Knight wins in two weeks. He's so over. Uh, he is the most over person in the WWE out of anybody, male or female. I would put him even over. Like, when He's... he came out. When John Cena yes. and Roman Reigns were in the ring, L.A. Knight got a bigger pop. Bigger pop than anybody. Yeah. Yes. He is so over right now. I mean, now here's the problem. Doesn't matter if you're over because we've seen them screw up. Yeah. I mean, L.A. Knight's been screwed out of the U.S. title multiple times. Well, I mean, not only that, but think about this. Sammy. Mm-hmm. Got screwed at a little elimination chamber or whatever. In it was. his hometown. In his hometown, where we <laughs> thought he was going to have it. Yeah, he okay. should have. Cody Rhodes, WrestleMania. Perfect moment. Brought his kids, his wife, everybody ringside. Gets screwed. Yep. Jey Uso. Jey Uso. This is actual Same family. Thing. Same. Now we're thing. talking about real family. And his brother screws him over. His twin brother, who's also back in the bloodline now, which makes that whole thing make even less sense. It doesn't. It makes absolutely no sense now. This <sighs> issue is persisting, and it's getting really annoying. I want to know how to, how many of the actual WWE fans hate this right now. Mm-hmm. Because I, I'm all fine and dandy with Roman Reigns being champion. Honestly, when he's a he great champion. champion and he's he's a damn good heel. He's damn good. Yeah. Even as a babyface, he was damn good. Yeah. You know, I think he's a lot better heel though. He is. He definitely yeah. is. But I think five years is enough. Or are we at five years? No, we're not at five years. Four years. They're thinking they might try to do five years, which is like Hogan's. Was it Hogan? So 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 I think it was Hogan. Hogan had the title for like five years. Now the whole San Martino, oh Bruno San Martino, Bruno San Martino, no, you're not beating he, it. He, yeah, that's like 15 years. Yeah, I think I think that might have been that the was most. before. TV. That was the most. Yeah, he's already he he's approaching Hogan's. I thought he beat it already. He beat. I could be wrong. He beat somebody's. He beat I somebody's. Know. I can't yeah. remember who it was, but he beat somebody's reign already. Bruno San Martino, you're not touching that. No one should no, touch that. Nobody at all. That's it's far stupid. too many. T- that's far too long. And he's had the belt now for over three years. We're approaching four years with this belt, and that's ridiculous, especially for someone who doesn't defend the belt and doesn't show up. Exactly. Like he's a he's a part timer, and I hate that. That's one of my my biggest issues with people who win the title is they start taking time oh, off. Oh, he's okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, let's get the facts right. He is coming up to Bruno San Martino's first oh, reign. Oh, God. Not his second one. I not the long one. Oh, okay. I didn't know he had a... So, I don't I don't know who he just passed. It's not letting me see who the fifth person is. Okay. But, uh, here we go. Nope. It's not going to let me, is it? Come on. Or did he dug behind a paywall? Come on. Yeah, something like that. Okay. okay. Hold on. Let me get... Well, we did get the... The good Hogan. facts. Okay. You're really good uh, with one finger. You should see what I'm I know, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> um, okay, so we passed CM Punk. That was 434 days. I didn't know CM Pedro Punk had that kind of Pedro Morales oh, okay. was 1,027 days. So he would have had to pass him. So now, looking at just off of Google, Roman Reigns is 1,140 plus days. 
The, That's too many. The days. next one is twelve hundred and thirty-seven. That's Bruno San Martino's first reign. Mm. Hulk Hogan's next one was fourteen hundred and seventy-four. That's the one I was thinking of. And then this one, which by God, if there's ever a champion that they do this with, I probably will never watch that show ever again. <laughs> twenty-eight hundred and three days. So he needs twenty-eight hundred and four. To be San that's Martino's, insane. Though, that's ridiculous. The, I, <sighs> Even as long as he has been champion, has been way too long. So this, this is ridiculous. This is the longest consecutive WWE title reign, twenty eight hundred and three days. Yeah, cut it. it. We we get it. We get it. He's great. He's unstoppable. He's good. He is blah, great. Blah 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 blah. But it's drop time. the belt. It's time. Yeah, please, for the love of God. Because I mean, you're you're coming up on what is it, 365 days a year, 300 yeah. times, you know, four is 12 something. I mean, maybe even 13 or 14 something. Mm-hmm. That's three three years plus, yeah, at least for his reign. I'm tired of it. Yeah, I like him. We He's got a great heel. He does great. He will be a Hall of Famer. Yeah, it's time. Now, on the other end, with your Cody thing, I think Cody, and I think me and you talked about this, Mm -hmm. Cody versus Seth, he beats Seth, I'm fine with it. I think everybody's fine with it. Yeah. You know, I don't, I don't, I would rather have Seth, but if you're going to give Cody a world title, boom, good, go, do it now. And by the way, Cody is not on SmackDown. He's not. Kevin Owens went to exactly. SmackDown. Exactly. So if 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 um Cody's still going to be on Raw, then he has to go to the Raw champion. The Raw Which champion is, is Seth, Seth Rollins. So, so I mean, you got to finish the story. I mean, L- LA Knight is SmackDown, is Smackdown. Obviously, yes. Cody is Raw. It only makes freaking sense. Yeah. Let's knock this shit off right now. <laughs> yeah. Let LA Knight win this one. And Saudi Arabia. In Saudi screw, Arabia. Screw WrestleMania. Screw it. Yeah. I mean, it's a big show. It's a big moneymaker, especially over there. As a matter of fact, we can have Roman and LA Knight 2 at WrestleMania. If you want it, let him read. And he'll, and he'll retain. Let I him. think LA Knight should keep it for a while. I think at least a year. Yeah. If if not a year. I mean, I'm fine with your reigns. Years are fine. A year. Give it to him at Saudi Arabia. Let him keep it for six months. <sighs> yeah. Let him be a six-month champion. I don't think anybody should be over a year. I honestly don't either. So It's variety that keeps people wanting to watch. Yeah, and if you are going to be champion for a year, the, the, the only time I'm cool with that type of reign is if you actually are defending it over and over and over and over and over again. Well, that's the, because that was what the great thing about John Cena having any championship. Exactly. You he, knew he was going to defend he, it. Either either World Heavyweight, WWE, whatever, that mm-hmm. the, the top dog championship – even down to the freaking uh, U.S. title. Absolutely. He had the open title challenge every freaking Monday Night Raw. Yeah. That's where Kevin Owens came in. Mm-hmm. Sami Zayn came in. I mean, th- so many people came into this because of that open title challenge yeah. and made a statement. Exactly. Kevin Owens came in and beat him as yeah. the NXT champion. Yep. It's wild. I mean. And I think that should be a thing of like. That that's the one old school thing that I miss about WWE is that like when you were when you were holding any belt any belt you were defending that thing at least every other show it might, it might maybe, at least. even if it wasn't every like let's say you were on Raw yeah if you were on Raw you might not defend it Raw after Raw after Raw but you were at least coming back on the next Raw and like you a bumped feud. into somebody Some got sort a feud, of feud like something happened like where you have to defend that title we're like you know what i want my shot i want my shot tonight i want yeah. it now and it was like yeah cool and then we yeah, would get a good week. match yeah and if you were a heel you knew there'd be some trickery you know he'd low blow brass knuckles or take the ref out you know something, something. was gonna happen like we, we we just like roman just got back what last weekend from yeah this, this past like, week two months after not seeing him something like that what did he do <laughs> It's Where like, was he? I know he wasn't making movies. No. There's nothing. No, there was no movies. He I, was hanging out with the family, most I've likely. I've looked. IMDb has nothing on him. Yeah. The last movie he did was uh, with Hobbs, I think. Yeah. Um, When he was... Sean Hobbs. Yeah. <laughs> Sean Hobbs. Hobbs and Shaw, whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, you know, like, come on. If you're, if you're the champ, I defend the belt. Exactly. I understand if you want... And th- th- that's the thing. Mm. Is like you said, he's not even... He's not even... 
defending it. He's coming out problem. on the shows and talking. And just talking. And talking. Yeah. I don't think you, if you're a champion, you should not be able to do that. Yeah. Random spear here and there exactly. to, to LA Knight. Like, oh my God. But we could at least have like matches until the belt. Because remember it you have, have that. To be a title. Remember you have like the contenders just yeah. coming in for a match, and you're yes. like, you know what, you might have got this one, but I want my shot. Yeah, and I I want that belt. You know, so it's like you don't have to. You don't. You don't even have to defend the belt. You don't. It's just a regular match. Yeah. Anything. So, but I am kind of excited about this next one though because. Crown Jewel. Well, no, this next match that I want to talk about real quick. Oh, okay. Um, Rey Mysterio versus Logan Paul. Mm -hmm. I don't like Rey Mysterio as a U.S. champion. Don't get me wrong. I love the dude. He does. He's doing the same thing. He doesn't really defend it. He defends it more than Roman does. Yeah. Obviously. But we all know it should have gone to LA Knight. It should have gone to LA Knight <laughs> for one. Um, and you know what? To be completely honest, and this is just because I, I I like Logan Paul. I think. He is definitely a superstar, mm -hmm. uh, just like Bat Bunny is. I mean, they're they're both celebrities, obviously. And yeah, one did YouTube, but I mean, have you ever tried to make a YouTube video? It's not easy. It's not easy, no. Especially the caliber that they do them. Not easy. Yeah. So that being said, if Logan was to even a dirty win to come be a champion, mm -hmm. even for one week, I'm like, dude, that's a great win. That's something, and, and 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 like I said, even if it's for a week, and he loses it to you know Ray again or something like that. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I think that would definitely at least spice up the title because. But what I do want though mm -hmm. is an issue that we have with with Paul uh -huh. is that we don't see him. Yeah. So I need yeah. him to actually be on the show. Yeah. If he has the belt and and. and and he's not training for any fights right now. Obviously, he just had that fight with Dylan Dennis. Yeah. He's not fighting anybody right now or hasn't announced it. Mm -hmm. So, you ain't doing nothing, bro. Let's do it. Right. I mean, obviously, you can do your podcast in different places. They've done it a million times. Yeah, he's been, he's been on but wrestling and also done the podcast. Exactly. Like he he, you he can, do can do it. They have places you can do it. Absolutely. Obviously, if you take your equipment with you or yeah. have the guys you have the team. to you, yeah. you have the team, exactly. But the reason why I'm, I would I, am excited for it is because it gives variety. Like I said, if titles have variety, it makes people, oh, crap. Oh, they just lost? Oh, that person, What's that? when's that person going to lose? Yeah. You know, and one one thing a lot of people will say about the whole, you know, losing it right away was um, Zack Ryder when he won the Intercontinental Championship at WrestleMania years ago. Yeah. Next night, he loses it to the Miss. Mm -hmm. Right then. Yeah. You know, didn't like it. But it made for the, it made the title um, worth kinda, something, kind of worth something. Exactly, yeah. you know. It's, it's, it's now it's he never got static. His... It doesn't stay at one place exactly. at all, at, like for exactly. a title. Because now we have this issue where if you have a belt, we know you're going to keep it forever. Yeah, Gunther's reign, <laughs> Roman's reign, Seth's reign, <laughs> Roman's reign, <laughs> Roman's reign, <laughs> Roman's reign's reign. <laughs> But like everybody, we we have to have we have to break records for some reason. I, I, I think, like Gunther needs to drop that damn bell to Chad Gable. I, yes, Chad Gable. and I love Gunther. He's a phenomenal oh, dude, champion. He defends it almost every freaking week, yes. and I love that. Yes, but it he needs to drop it. I think he <laughs> needs to drop it to somebody like Chad Gable. Yeah, and then per Gable, take, take a <laughs> yeah right. Take a take an absence. Come back at uh, Royal yeah, Rumble. Take a hiatus. Enjoy your wife. You just got married, dude. Come back. Did he really? He got. We got married like months ago. Oh. But anybody in the wrestling or no? Oh, okay. Um, just some German woman. <laughs> oh, she's German. Yeah, is he German? He's German. Is he? Yeah, I didn't know that. Yep. So like Gunther, um, lose the belt. Take some time come, with your wife. Come back to at Royal Rumble. Come back refreshed. And you know what? Even if he beats, if he wins the Royal Rumble, I'd be fine with him winning at WrestleMania. Yeah. I I love that. Yeah. And it. That that's another thing that you know the variety thing. Who wins the Royal Rumble? That's one of the reasons I love that match. Mm -hmm. Is because you get to see all these different people, a lot of nostalgia, a lot of people going at each other that you wish would go to each other. Yep. But you never know who's going to win, mm -hmm. and it's usually it's somebody different every single year. Yep. 
There are multiple time winners, but it's different. Mm-hmm. Every, almost every single year. And you year. can build a story from that. Exactly. We see people build, like we saw we saw Rhea versus Charlotte. That's it was poorly built because it wasn't really a story that they yeah. built. We just knew it was gonna happen and they kinda talked about it vaguely. Or, it was it was it was a bad build up, but it was a great match. Or even Seth versus Logan Paul. I mean, he threw him out of the ring. Yeah. It was a kind of a really small, you know, storyline, but it was something. When LA Knight threw Miz out the ring. Miz in that, same that, thing. Yeah. So I mean, and that was even, a pretty good feud. And even tag team partners throwing each other out of the ring. Sorry, man, I got to do what's good for me. Mm-hmm. That starts stuff. Yep. Remember when uh, Rikishi had to do that to, to cool both and, of them at the yeah. same time? <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. That the thing is, it just it just needs to be variety. We need we need something different because, I mean, uh, ooh, the tag team titles just got changed hands. Like mm. nobody cares. No, and, and that's another thing too. Is like no one cares about those no, belts. No one cares because you're not giving them to. Actual DIY chains. I like the hurt hurt profits. I, <laughs> I like the street profits a lot. The hurt profits, whatever. <laughs> it's just they're not clicking right now. Yeah, because it's they're not, not winning. It's, just, it's not. They're not letting them. They're not letting them cook. Let them cook. I, I, I you got want, Bobby Lashley at the helm, and you got the profits. Let them cook. I want DIY. I know. I but want like the, so that bad. could be a, such a good faction. It could be such a good oh, faction, the, man. The, the Her the profits. Her profits. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. That could be so good. Let them cook. And you know what I wouldn't mind now that I'm seeing it? What was that? Remember how we were always saying like Carmelo Hayes would be the next guy coming in? Yeah. I wouldn't mind Trick Williams. Whoop that trick, baby. Whoop that trick. <laughs> I love that, dude. I, yeah. s- I freaking love I, that. I think it should like straight his, up be like a second coming of like the nation of domination. Yes. Like And his his uh Match with um Jacoby Brissett. <laughs> <Shut> the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Isla Dragonov or something like that. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Dragonov. He fought him, and I was like, oh my god. Yeah. Like, and Dragonov's a really insane. good wrestler too. Yeah, like Dragonov's gonna be a superstar. Oh, for sure. Yeah. So. Yeah, variety. 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 That's speaking that's of the, variety. That's the episode. That's variety. the that, that yeah. That's the that's <laughs> that, the title. That's the name of the game. Um. Now there's this little meme going on. Meme. Going around like a, a little, meme? yeah, a little picture going around, and it's asking people, you have to survive in a room for t- for like twenty to thirty minutes with a very aggressive form of this animal. And there's four animals, okay? Okay, okay. So we're talking animals on rabies, like yeah, like this just, animal's raging. We don't kill know. You. We don't know why it's mad. It's just mad. Duck. <laughs> no, there's a choice. Oh, damn. Okay. That's not one of the choices. Damn it. <laughs> the choice is hippopotamus. Oh, shit. Um, buffalo. Uh, okay. Um, lion Mm-mm. and crocodile. <sighs> now. What do most people pick? That's what I want to know first. Most idiots. Uh-huh. Pick a hippo. <laughs> okay, okay. And okay. that is the worst yeah. decision. Oh yeah. Out of all of those, oh, in yeah. my opinion, that oh, yeah. you could make. Hippos clap people for fun. Yeah. Hippos are one of the you, leading causes of death in Africa. Do you ever <laughs> see when people just throw a full watermelon in their mouth? Yeah. And you see just, how easy they just barely they, they it just barely squishes it, it, it just squashes it. Uh, like hippopotamus do not play. No, they don't fuck around. If you're in their waters. You're no longer in their waters. No, no, you're dead. <laughs> They'll just kill you because. Yeah. And here's the thing I also want to say about this is this is why the two the two biggest problems on that list is a hippopotamus and a buffalo because they're b- both herbivorous animals. Herbivorous animals are very aggressive. Okay. Because they have to be. They fight for their lives daily. There's always okay. something hunting them. They don't check to see what it is. If you're in their zone, they're going to hurt you, and then they're going to run away after. They don't care what you are, who you are, how big you are. You are a problem in their zone because they're constantly on edge. That's why hippopotamus kill so many people. That's why people think they can get so close to Buffalo in Montana, and then See, they get jacked up. I've never seen a uh, like a raging Buffalo video I or have. anything. They, so I, that's I, one I've, I've seen someone get thrown in the air because from a Buffalo. If it well, because I'll just say it now. If I'm choosing one of them, yeah, in my mind when I first hear that, because I'm a smart person and I know that hippos you don't fuck with. No, obviously a lion, 
Hell no. Yeah. Okay, so and then I, you start I have a caveat thinking, to that, too. Then you start thinking, mm-hmm. okay, a buffalo. You don't really hear too much. You you really don't. You don't you hear much. might not, but those okay. don't do I'm it. Not, I know, I know. <laughs> so, to me, because the, what's the only thing that a crocodile can do? A There's, crocodile's a crocodile. There, I'm sorry. What are the two things that they do? What's that? They bite you mm-hmm. or they roll. Yeah, the death roll. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm putting that motherfucker in a headlock, and we're rolling, baby. Yeah. We're rolling. Now, here's what makes the crocodile an but, easy choice. Hold, hold on, hold on, though. Before mm-hmm. you say that. Yeah. Is it like Lake Placid? It's just a normal, like a Nile crocodile. Just a regular a, one. A Nile crocodile right. is probably the biggest crocodile I'm, you can get. I'm taking the crocodile. I am, too. But here's here here's why I almost took the lion. If they didn't say this caveat, I would have taken the lion. They okay. said, if you have to spend, if they just said, if you you have to spend a room like tw- like spend some time in a room 20 minutes in a room with one of these animals and that's it i would have picked a lion do you know why because it's not hungry carnivores don't screw with you if, if they're not hungry now what if they put them in there when they're hungry though that's, that's the, thing. the problem so if they if they said if they if they said you have to spend like the actual picture itself says you have to spend 20 minutes in a room with an aggressive one of these. Mm-hmm. That's when I went, okay, the crocodile. If they didn't put aggressive, I would have said the lion. Because the lion's just going to chill. It's going to check you out. Yeah. But it's going to chill if it's not hungry. If and it's, it's hungry, so furry and it, cuddly. It, if it's hungry, that becomes a problem. Yeah. So that's why I'm going with the crocodile because they have short bursts of speed. Crocodile can be really quick. Oh, They're yeah. They're very quick animals. Oh, yeah. But they have short bursts of speed. I, sh- I should be able to get around it. You know, so I I don't I even don't really if, have an issue with the crocodile. Even if you jump, like say you jump over it, mm-hmm. yes, they can look up, but I don't think they're that quick to get up there or that long. Yeah, and they're opportunistic hunters, so they're not even really going to go after you. No. Probably, no, they're going to wait till you get close. Yeah, so I I, I take my you, chances. I, and I've heard things about if you put your finger. Well, this is if you're in the water. If you put your finger in their nose while they're underwater, if like if you if you have to take it underwater or if it takes you under, they have to be able to breathe still. So it'll immediately release their their um close their airways. Mouth, whatever. Oh, their mouth if will it's like, got, oh, if release. it's got if it's got a hold of you. Oh, if it's got you put your finger in the you nose. Put your finger in their nose. Bro, and at that point I'm grabbing it from the top and I'm fucking ah! But if it's biting you underwater, it's not breathing through its nose. I I don't know what the whole. <laughs> Listen, I, I I started reading it, and that was as far as I got. Was you all you got to do is put your finger in their nose. Part of it was because it, it was like it's uncomfortable for them as well. I, I would if assume. You jam yeah. your finger in there. Which I mean to anybody, yeah. Jam your finger, my finger into your nose. You're probably uncomfortable, and you're going, ah, knock it off. Right. You know? <laughs> I mean, maybe, maybe out of water, but underwater, it's not breathing. No, it's taking a breath, but it, and it's trying to drag something down to drown it. Exactly. So, and that's when you you headlock it, and once it starts rolling, you roll with it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're rolling, baby. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Do you know that uh, kangaroos have like a that? Did I ever tell you about their defense mechanism? They punch. No. What they pee? If you are, they throw their joey out of their their joey uh, out of the uh, <laughs> their cubby, and they start swinging it around and no. throw it at you like a boomerang. No, no, uh, it's f- far more sinister. No, oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Than throwing their child? Far more sinister. Oh my lord! What a kangaroo would do, especially if it's closer to a body of water. It'll go in the body of water to where you can only see its head and shoulders, and it'll wait for you. Oh, that's creepy. Because it wants to drown you. No way! It will grab you and drown you. Are you serious? Yes, they do it to dogs. What? And uh, because dogs are, like, kangaroo's biggest op. Like, in uh, you know how, like, um... It's a dingo. It's a dingo. You know how they have, like, uh, how animals have, like, constant predators? <coughs> Yeah, because they got a bunch of wild dogs and stuff out there, don't well, they? Well, yeah. So, like, with kangaroos, like, their biggest predator throughout years and years and years have been dingoes or wild dogs. Yeah. So, anything that even has, like, the body shape of a dog, oh, it's on site. hyena site. or anything. Yeah, they're, they're, like, they're, yeah, they're automatically going after and they're aggressive. It's the ops. Yeah. yeah. So, like, I they'll try to, word. like, yes, the ops. The ops. <laughs> so, if there's water near, it'll go into the water. <coughs> 
head and shoulders exposed and just like wait. That's creepy. Yeah, that's very creepy. That it'll just stare at you and yep. wait for you to come. Oh, and it, it does. They they do it to dogs a that lot is... because there'll be dogs that are chasing kangaroos, because uh, like hunters or whatever. Maybe the, or maybe the dog just got excited. Yeah, kangaroo goes into the middle of the water, waits for the dog to get out there, grabs the dog, and will drown it. I'm shooting that damn thing. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't no get my dog. Uh uh-uh. uh. Yep. There's a video of somebody no. who, oh like, their they, the kangaroo actually had like their dog. It was like holding the dog. Where he punches it. Yeah. I love that. Well, video. that that, that video is different because that's in a field, right? I think so. The one I'm thinking about is actually in the water. So like, there's this kangaroo who has like this guy's dog, what? and he's like, he's like, I should punch you in your fucking face. <laughs> he's like. Look at my dog. And then, Look at my dog. <laughs> and then the kangaroo lets go of the dog, oh grabs the guy. <laughs> Grabs a guy instead. <laughs> he grabs a phone. He's like, you, you're coming in phone with me. Phone falls in the water, and he starts, like, laughing it off. He's like, yeah, you dude, you lost that one. Look at my dog. Look at my dog. Dude, and he's jacked. Yeah. That kangaroo's massive. Yeah, water, like, phone falls in the water. He starts backing away. He's like, Haha, I guess you got me there. And then, like. <laughs> oh, he splashes him. He's like, yeah, yeah. I got you. Yeah. <laughs> Laughing it off. Knows he cheated death. <laughs> kangaroos are strong, man. Like, kangaroos can take Dude, you underwater. So, so, not even that video, mm-hmm. but the other one. This one right here. Yeah, the guy pl- L- yeah, squared up with the kangaroo. Him? Yeah. Look how jacked. Yeah, kangaroos oh, are massive, dude. Oh, do and it's only in Australia. Look out. Yeah, there you go. He's got the dog in a headlock. Look how jacked he is. Watch when <laughs> yeah. he stands up. He's got the dog in a Freaking bows up. He's ah. like, what's up, bro? What's yeah. up? What's up? Bow! <laughs> and then he just stares at you. <laughs> Take the he's like, jab. <laughs> He's like, that you just freaking hit me. Look, and then he's going after the dog. Oh, I'd be... Yeah. I love how he just takes the jab and just, like, stands. <laughs> Look at it. What? Yeah. Yeah. Just... Dude. All right, square oh, up. Yeah. Square oh. up. Square up. Square <laughs> up. Bow! <laughs> Look at him just stand there. He's like, damn, he just hit me. He looks at the other dog. He's like, all right. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, kangaroos are Can- freaking vicious, dude, man. Ugh. I don't I don't underestimate underestimate any especially a marsupial. I don't yeah. underestimate any herbivorous animal because they are constantly on edge. And that's a problem. Yeah, no, they're especially watching those videos. Yeah. I can't. Dude, you said more sinister. That's. Yeah. Think about that. Damn. Think about, like, your dog's chasing a kangaroo. You're trying to get some kangaroo meat. <laughs> and what then kangaroo you... meat tastes like? Probably gamey. I think that's what they said at one time we were eating at Taco Bell. Roo meat? I think that's what it was. <laughs> they were saying, they were, uh, I remember it was roo. like, Taco Bell doesn't have real meat. And they're like, okay, what's our meat made out of? Everybody's. I remember everybody in school, at least. Was saying, or on the radio, was saying it was kangaroo meat. Roo meat, baby. That's insane. I love it. If that's what it tastes like, <laughs> I want to eat a kangaroo. <laughs> I don't just think it's roo meat. I think it's just like processed going, garbage. Like people in Australia are just like, yeah, mate, I, I, I ate the roo. Now I'm in the bathroom. <laughs> it's like, dude, when I go to Taco Bell, it's the same thing. <laughs> <That> was, <laughs> <laughs> Everybody in Australia is Play Doh. <laughs> <laughs> Play Doh, baby. <laughs> But, but yeah, like imagine like pulling up to the kangaroo that your dog was chasing. Dude. Kangaroo's got the dog in a headlock, yeah. or it's got it almost submerged in yeah. water because oh, it's dude, about it to drown it. your dog. That first one, it, it was had about its to kill that dog right at the water. <laughs> yeah, he was, he was like holding on to it. I then a man comes stopped. in, he's like, "Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's he like, like, what you want this? This you want this thing?" It goes. Give my dog. <laughs> hey, you want you want to let go of my dog? <laughs> I had a, I ought to bash your fucking head in. <laughs> let go of my dog. <laughs> let go of my dog. I love how it's just like a normal occurrence in Australia that it just kangaroos are just they're just grabbing dogs. Yeah, left and right. <laughs> they're such nuisances. Where, where's my dog? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that kangaroo oh, came from last you night. Check, you check the roo. <laughs> What was that accent? I, I don't that was know. like a that mix between a, like a Texan check, and Austin. You checked the roo. <laughs> They sent a lot of people from like, um, England yeah. out that way for punishment. Oh yeah, because it was so too. hot. It's so hot. Everything wants to kill you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I th- that that's just. I remember hearing a story about that. That that was originally what it was, mm. and then it just 
it got uh, abolished, and they were just like, yeah, we're we're here now. We're just crazy people <laughs> that ride BMX bikes and jump over everything while everything's trying to kill us. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, like Australia is a place I do not want to live solely because of the animals. Oh, dude, the insects everything there, and the animals? Fuck just, that. Everything there is poisonous yeah. or venomous and deadly. The ruse are trying to get your dogs. <laughs> like I saw it's it's a it's a problem. Here's one that a, a reason I just found out the other day why I would not want to live there was because I watched this video. Mm-hmm. This girl, she goes up to her toilet, opens up the lid, and there's these uh, lime green like tree frogs oh, all yeah. inside of the bed. Hell yeah! <laughs> like ah, uh, yeah. I'm gonna be going there at like two or three in the morning, half asleep. Yeah, and something's and gonna jump and hit my balls. I'm <laughs> like, ah, what the fuck? <laughs> and a tree frog is a tame issue. Yeah. <laughs> so fuck that. Yeah, you can keep tree frogs. Um, but there's one more thing I want to talk about that actually isn't on, that actually isn't on my list of things to talk Ooh. about because you uh, teased me a little earlier, it's easy, and though. you said you want to uh, uh what's the word um suggest some games that I should be downloading. I have Ooh, an Xbox. Oh yeah, uh, one, and um I'm looking to get a couple more games on there right now. I got Jurassic Park Evolution two. I had to because. I'm a Jurassic nerd. I had to get that one, and I'm like seventy to eighty percent done with the main campaign. Damn, really? Yeah, I've been, I've been, I've been are you, killing. Are it, you man. Chris Pine the whole time, walking around with the lever action? Just Chris Pratt, you mean? Chris, uh, Chris Pratt. <laughs> who? Who did I say? You said Chris Pine. Who is that? <laughs> That's the guy from Wonder Woman. Uh, oh shit! Yeah. Oh yeah, wrong guy. <laughs> Chris Pratt, whatever. <laughs> but um, uh, they do have the characters on there the only original character voice that they actually used was jeff goldblum i was just gonna say probably jeff goldblum yeah, because he will do it for, that's a big like, pile of shit yeah that's <laughs> one big pile of shit <laughs> but i have been looking i have a list okay and but i'm also looking for suggestions you? yeah okay i want to hear your list okay so right now, I think I probably know it by heart. Right now, one is definitely Mortal Kombat 11. That's the new one where... Mortal Kombat 1 is the new one. Oh, oh, which one's 11? 11 was one previous to that. Okay, okay. Yeah, so I, I really, really, really like 11, so I'm probably going to get Mortal Kombat 11. Why that one over one? Because one did the grimy thing that Mortal Kombat usually doesn't do, and they locked a bunch of stuff behind, like, either paywalls uh, or, like, you gotta unlock. Okay. And I don't want to... I don't really want to do a lot of story okay. BS. I just want to fight. Okay. <laughs> so, so that's when you either, have a bad day at work. You yeah, know, and I just want to Credits are take, all just screwed up, and you're like... Oh, yeah, I just want to take it out on somebody. So... Butt masher. Exactly. It, it was either that or Tekken, and I like Mortal Kombat oh, more. Oh, Tekken, damn. Even though Tekken's, like, really good, and they just released another really good did one. Did they really? They did. But... Wow. I like Mortal Kombat more than Tekken, so Mortal Kombat 11 is my favorite Mortal Kombat. I will be getting that Mortal Kombat. Was Tekken the one with the little baby dinosaur that had the the punching gloves on? The little orange. Oh guy? no, you're, you're you're thinking about the Jaguar. No, no. Oh, the dinosaur. Little, little tiny dinosaur was you know real small, and it had little gloves on. And then there was the Jamaican guy that did the capoeira. Yeah, uh, dude, I love. I'm using pretty sure him. that was second. Yeah, and then you oh had. Oh my god! And then you had like Jaguar face. Yes, yes, the, I remember yeah. him. So there's that. The, uh, that's Tekken. That's Tekken. Oh, dude. <laughs> so, um, what's the next? One? Oh, and then and then you know the next one I gotta get. Yeah, that guy. Oh yeah, yeah I forgot he, that that the was real even a small thing. Small little midget dinosaur, and he yeah. ends up like with boxing gloves on. <laughs> dude, that's awesome. <laughs> The next one I'm I'm definitely gonna get is WWE 2K23. Okay, I gotta okay. get that. Or That's, 24. Which one's the new one? It'd be the new one is 23. Is, actually, really? they screwed up. Uh, it's still 23. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna get that game as okay. well. Makes sense. Um, I'm gonna get Forza. Forza is automatic. Interesting. Why a car game? Because I like racing games. Okay, okay. okay, okay. <laughs> I grew up on them. And uh, yeah. yeah, Need for Speed, absolutely. Yeah, and I'm probably, I'm probably, I might even get a Need for, Need for Speed game, or maybe now, even a Burnout game. Fours, oh, Burnout, Burnout. Uh, that dope. was the one where you could just demolish Dude, everything. Yes, it was so fun. Forza would be cool because their their um, customization stuff is really, really in depth. Yeah, like I mean, hundreds of options. You can tune it a certain way. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's in depth. Yeah, and they've got so many DLCs to add, so many different cars. It's insane. Yeah, they overtook uh, um, Gran Turismo. Really? Yeah, as far wow. as like uh, popularity and 
I mean, sales at one point. Pretty insane. Yeah, and, and Gran Turismo is the shit. Like yeah. they're they're top dog for a while. Uh, yeah, yeah, forever. So what um, else? I'm thinking about Spider Man Two. Okay. Uh, that's something I'm I'm pondering because you like superhero movies or like movies and games to me are just kind of mm, I like playing them more than watching them, and I love Spider Man. Yes, but we'll see. I might have to wait a while. That price yeah. is gonna have to go down. Oh, definitely. Uh, so, dude, it, we looked at it the other day. The one that came out before mm-hmm. is still forty bucks. I looked yeah. at it last night. Yeah, because Mason wanted a game. Mm-hmm. And so, because we have an issue with him playing Call of Duty and Battlefield, those are the games I like. Yeah, we can't have any s- killing games anymore. Yeah, and I suck at first person shooters, so I'm not even. Yeah, yeah. The only first person shooter I might get is a uh, Red Dead Redemption Two. Okay, so here's yes, <laughs> that's my first suggestion. Yeah, you don't. It's not even first per. You can make it first person. Yeah, or you can do third person because obviously do. it's a Rockstar game. It's just like Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, it's amazing. Mm-hmm. I want to re get it. Like yeah. I can't. I can't find my disc, so I'm about to purchase it again. And I think right now it's like twenty bucks. Yeah, you can download it though. Can't uh, you? Exactly. Yeah, but I don't have one of those PS4s because I still have my PS4. I don't have a PS4. It has a lot of storage on it. It's like oh, the, okay. uh, not the first. It might be the first one. Yeah, like the bottom one. Oh, okay. Um, so I would have to delete like Call of Duty and Battlefield and all that. So or get an external hard drive, which I don't know how that would work. But anyway, hook, hook it up to the back. Um, yes, that's my first suggestion. Please get it. It is a such. Did you ever play the first one? I did, and I know the first I, one was great. I and and I've seen playthroughs of the second one. I know yes. I would love it. It is amazing, but I know it's just so time consuming. <laughs> it's very, <laughs> yeah. very. Uh, it took me about at least two months of just playing on the weekends mm-hmm. to go through everything. It's a it, lot. It's, it's expansive. It's a lot. Yeah. So that's um, that's a game I'm going to get. Yes. The game that I'm going to get probably tonight or tomorrow, like the immediate buy. We'll see. Oh, you don't it's, know yet. Yeah, it, it, it's between Red Dead Redemption Two and Mortal Kombat Eleven at this point. I think if you're into like the stories and everything, I think Red Dead is your best bet. Kay. It is so immersive. It's so fun. You know, you you play as John Mars Marston mm-hmm. the whole game. John. Then, then, uh, do you know much about it? Oh, yeah. Can I spoil it? Oh, absolutely. I know those, I, I know everything okay. about the So the then game. you die. Yeah. He dies in the very end. Exactly. Um, and then you play as, what's his name? Yeah, like Black Hair. Didn't he know yeah. Scar? Um, I can't remember his name. I used to know all these characters wh- by heart. Will? No. I can't remember what his name is at the yeah. moment. Yeah, I know what you're talking but about. But then you play as him, and you can continue your mission. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, not only – and you get to play the same areas. Yeah. And you could go into, like, New Me- or Mexico mm-hmm. and all that. Dude, it's insane. Oh, yeah. It is one it's, of the greatest games I've ever played. It's it's one of the greatest games, period. Oh, for sure. Then, you know what else comes to my mind? Mm. God of War. Oh. Okay. There's so many good games. Yes. <laughs> also, if we're staying on, like, the third person thing. Mm-hmm. Assassin's Creed games. I'm actually not that big of a fan of really? Assassin's Creed games. Yeah, I know that's kind of sacrilegious to say. I'm not that into is. them, and I'm not like a big stealth dude. Uh, so I, I I I like watching them, and I like yeah. people pe- like I like watching playthroughs. I yeah. think they're really cool. Yeah, it's just not really my style so, and time period. I'm just not really into. I. I liked them because I, I I played the first three. I beat all the first three. Mm-hmm. Loved them. Yeah. Um. Didn't end up going to the fourth one. I don't know why. I just never did. I think that was when I really got into like Battlefield. Okay. But the storylines, like I love a good story. Like if it's you know freaking good, we're gonna yeah. Do me it. too. That's why I, the Last of Us Two is so good. When That's oh, another game. Sure. There you go. There's two <laughs> more games right there. Yeah. Um, but I, I like that I didn't, and first to your, to your opinion, I could not play Splinter Cell because it was all stealth. Yeah. That's probably that. And that's why I don't like Splinter Cell. This one, 
this one was easy because you could like jump off a roof, stab someone, climb back up the roof, and get away from everybody. Mm-hmm. And even if, even if the NPCs came up there trying to get you, you could hit them off the roof. Oh yeah, I mean it's, it's easy. It's easy stuff. Yeah, but it definitely if you like the stories, definitely go with those. God of War. Oh my gosh! Yep, again, it, one of the best games ever. Yeah, guarantee one of the best games ever. Mm-hmm. I mean, you there's. Like what, five, six? There is five of them. Five? Wait. Because I think there's a second one of him and the kid. I think it's six. I think it's six. I think Cause it might Because well, you had God of War, uh, and then you had uh, God of War Ragnarok. Because mm-hmm. um, I know you had one, two, and three. Yeah. I know that for sure. Because then they went to like a different type of... Yeah, they didn't the, cause, do four. Cause then they went to a different else. mythology. Because mm-hmm. they were in Greek mythology, then they went to Norse mythology. Yes. So um, that's the newer ones. Yeah. Because they had to go to Valhalla, and they were waiting for uh, Ragnarok to take place mm-hmm. or something like that. So um, Those games are great, though. Those are... I freaking love them. Oh, my God. Um, now, so, I, yeah. I, I am... I would suggest one... But you don't like first person shooters, but I, I suggest yeah. it anyways. Uh huh. Far Cry Five. Okay. Dude. Yeah. And it, it's cool because I love games when they take place in America. Mm-hmm. That's why I loved Red Dead. Yeah. Where it was based in America. Red uh not Red Dead, sorry. Um Far Cry Five was based in America in like Montana, like somewhere mm. up there with this cult. That was taking over the area because mm-hmm. it had um, leprosy. Uh, no, no, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Nobody was itching their spores. <laughs> um, no, it had like they were taken over with this drug, this like wild flower. Oh, the opiate uh, uh, epidemic. Yeah, <laughs> and, but it was like religious as well. Mm-hmm. So like they were feeding people's minds with stuff. It was really cool. Yeah, it was something I could actually see happening. It was okay. just really interesting. Okay. Um, but you don't like first person shooters, so I don't. And that's why I was also gonna say Halo because you have an Xbox. I know. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna say like I, I'm, I'm gonna I I like those. The thing is too, I like the games uh-huh. because I like the gameplay and I like how cool they are. The problem is, the problem is, I'm not good at them. So I end up playing them and not like the fact that oh, I'm playing them. So yeah. it's like I don't even want to play this because I suck at it. So yeah. That that's why, I'll play somebody else's because it's theirs. Yeah, and I'll just you any, know any sports games. We'll end it on this one. Sports games, um, definitely not Madden. No Madden. Nope. No, no Madden. You don't want to re uh, rebuild the Colts franchise. <laughs> <laughs> no, that Madden has become so bad and glitchy and a problem and god, <laughs> <laughs> Madden's so bad. Um. <coughs> I'm thinking it'll either be a boxing or MMA game. Ooh. Uh, or. Or. Possibly. Lawnmower simulator. Lawnmower simulator. Dude, I've seen so many videos on <laughs> Lawnmower that. Lawnmower simulator. Dude, they have it. I'm I know they do. I know they do. It'll probably be something like. I don't know. Like maybe. No, not bowling. It'll be something like uh, either one, one of the games. It might even be soccer. Oh. Possibly. Hockey? But. Nah. Just to fight somebody? Well, yeah, just to go in there, <laughs> lose every match, but I get in a fight. Uh, but the only problem is EA no longer has control of FIFA. Oh, no. And FIFA was actually good under EA, one of the good EA <laughs> games. <laughs> uh, my, and if they, my they don't have it anymore. with those, with sports games, is that you have to pay 60 70 80 bucks mm-hmm. every year. Yeah. That's just my get issue. A, to just get an updated roster. Updated roster. That's my problem with Madden. That's one of my problems with Madden. One of my millions of problems with yeah. Madden is that it should be a download. It should. Even, That's the only you know thing you need to do. Once a year, 30 40 bucks. I'm fine with. Yeah. Because that's like a subscription. Mm-hmm. Once a year, 30 40 bucks. Hey, uh, update the roster. Yeah. Boom. And then maybe, maybe... Um, Two, three years go by, hey, you have to buy the new game to get these new game modes. Yeah. Fine with that. That's cool. But, like, you're releasing a game now every season, and it... And it's getting worse. Just and the only the thing is the, the... The only thing that you have to stay current with is the updated roster. Make it a download. Yep. 
make it a that like go go to each go, like update the teams. Go hey, an update is available for your Madden 2011, which is probably where they should have st- stopped. <laughs> update now. Click yes, even, and even if you're it was go. Even if it wasn't Madden, I feel like games under 2K were great. Yeah. Yep. But it was 2K, 2K games were really 2K, good. 2K5, you know, mm-hmm. whatever it was. I mean, dude, when they had it under, uh, I th- want to say the cover athlete was like Michael Vick. Yeah. I loved it. Yeah. They were amazing. Yep. But no. Oh, no, I take that back. It was Terrell Owens that was on the cover in an Eagles uniform. Now that I'm Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was good. And Chris Berman was my quarterback. Oh, my. I don't know how. Wow. <laughs> Chris and every Berman. time, and and I remember every time you did a juke or something, uh, the character would go whoop. <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> yeah, so Madden is no longer a thing for me, but I will be getting a game, a new game this week. I got some, I got some decisions to make. If we'll you see guys which one have suggestions for Derek, I mean, by uh, all means, let him know. Gonna, if well, you've got, here's the if thing: if you've got <laughs> Xbox One, yeah. Drop your drop your name down below. Maybe we'll play with you guys. Ma- I don't know. <laughs> this has been it. This has been it. <laughs> Remember to like, share, subscribe, follow, rate, all that good stuff. And uh, we will see you in the next one. Podcast. Give Derek to suggestions. Podcast. <laughs>